So let's jump into Komodo Edit and we're going to add a new file into the join app called forms.py and this is making our form basically um, to allow us to accept entries um, from our users. So then we'll do from models import join join form and that's forms.model form and we'll do class meta and model equals join fields this is the list of fields that we want to actually have and the where we get these are over here so we want full name email zip code let's do that full name email zip code oops and you want to make sure that you have them inside of at least a single quote you could also do double quotes so that's the list there and now in our views uh, our views is kind of like what controls when requests come through um, you'll kind of see it in action I'm not going to go too much into it right now but so from Django shortcuts import render to response and request context you'll see what we use those for shortly and then from models import join and from forms import join form okay so definition we're going to we're going to define this new function that will handle the request and first off we name the form and it's called join form and we'll do request post or none spell none right and then if form dot is valid um, we will just do a new join equals form dot save commit equals false and new join dot save okay and then we want to return outside of the if statement we want to return render to response and we are going to call it uh, we'll just call it home dot html for now and locals so this is going to render all of our local stuff here context instance equals request context request all right so you probably don't have an idea of what's going on exactly but basically it's going to render this html that we haven't made yet it's going to render the stuff that's in here and then it's going to use the request that's coming through uh, for its context um, all right so now we need to go into our urls here and we're going to uncomment this one out and we're just going to change the view on this one from that to join.views.home and we can keep the name as home let's just make sure that's what we call it that's what we call it all right so let's just we can delete some of these other things out of here just to kind of clean it up a little bit so now we have a home page and if we do a run server python manage.py run server we can see it in action let's go here and click on that template does not exist okay so we need to make a template here uh, but before we do all that stuff we have to have all the setting files and all that stuff uh, installed